Hello my friends, welcome back. I am super excited to share this video with you guys because, well I'm always super excited to share videos with you guys, but this one in particular because the project that we're doing in this video is one that I have wanted to do since before we even moved in. I really was not happy with the exterior of our mobile home. I didn't like the faux wood grain. My parents like it, my brother likes it, but it's just not for me. Um, I really wanted to paint it. So that's, that's happening this week, y'all. We're finally gonna paint it. I finally got my brother to agree to come help me paint it. I tried to find like somebody to do that. Didn't have any luck with it. And he messaged me and he's like, have you found anybody to paint your trailer? And I said, no. So he's like, okay, I'll come do it. So my brother is coming through for me once again. Thank you, brother. I did buy a few samples a few weeks ago of two different colors that I wanted to see which one that I really liked the most. Um, I'll show you some clips of that. But for now, we're gonna run in Lowe's. I gotta get a five gallon bucket of paint. Hopefully that will cover the whole place because this stuff is not cheap. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Let's run in here and get this. I'm so excited. All right, I got the paint, so now we gotta go pick up Timmy. And tomorrow is the day we're gonna paint this house. Are y'all excited? I know you are. Once we get it all painted, then I wanna build some wood shutters to put on the front, on the windows. Um, I think it's gonna look really good, I'm really hoping. So, um, once we get the shutters on, get a new window in, um, the only thing that'll be left to do is to build our porch our front porch and replace the light i need a new front porch light but um yeah we're making progress it's coming along sometimes you just have to take it slowly and just do one little thing at a time but eventually you'll get there we just have to have patience guys <laughs> i've learned that one the hard way i want to take a moment to thank our friends at ed for sponsoring today's video I have wanted a robot vacuum for the longest time. You guys may have noticed in some of my cleaning videos that I just used this like little stick vac. I wasn't getting up all the dust and the dirt, um, especially from my area rug in my living room. That's why I was so happy when Yeedy offered to send me their brand new Vac2 Pro. When you first use your Yeedy vacuum, you want to download the app online. The vacuum is very easy to set up and link to the app. The first time that you use it, it's going to map out your home. So you want to make sure to pick up anything that would be in the way, such as shoes or anything like that, so that it can get a clear map of your home the first time. Now, if there's a room that you don't want it to vacuum, all you need to do is shut the door, and then it won't go in there and vacuum that room. Starting vacuuming. A great thing about the Yeedy Vac 2 Pro is that it can tell the difference between carpets and rugs and hardwood floors, tile, all of those things. When it gets on carpet, it actually increases its suction power so that it can do a better job of cleaning the carpet or your rugs. It's also able to vacuum underneath furniture if it has space to do so. Um, I liked that it was able to clean underneath my couch. You know, it just gets cobwebs and everything up under furniture, like under the bed. It cleaned from under my bed. Um, I raised my husband's footstool on his recliner and it cleaned under there. Return to the station. When it's finished cleaning, it will automatically return itself back to the docking station where it will recharge. The Yeedy Vac 2 Pro is compatible with a self-empty station that is sold separately. Yeedy did provide me with a self-empty station, and I have to say I really enjoy this product as well. It keeps you from having to empty the little um, dirty bin that collects all the dust and the dirt, and it automatically sucks all of that up into this empty station. Starting to where it has a vacuum bag, and this bag should last you 30 days and then you'll just change it out. They do provide you with one extra one, which I thought was really great. So the Yeedy Vac 2 Pro can not only vacuum your floors, but it can vacuum and mop them at the exact same time. You're also able to select your preferred water flow level from the app. 
You can see here that the VAC2 Pro has an oscillating mop head. It doesn't just drag a wet mop cloth across your floor. You see how it's moving back and forth here. It's going to scrub up all of those little sticky spots on your floor. It'll get up all of that dirt and debris because it is vacuuming and mopping at the exact same time, which kind of blows my mind. As you can see here with Bonnie's dog food dishes, the Yeedy will go around everyday objects that are in your home. So if you leave your shoes on the floor or a basket or um, your bar stool or whatever, it will go around those objects. When it comes up to an area rug or to carpet, the Yeedy knows not to go onto the carpet with the mopping head. To show you what great suction power it has, I crushed up some cereal here on the floor and you will see that it is nothing for Yeedy to clean up. He leaves no crumb behind. He did an excellent job with this little mess. Once it's done vacuuming, you just pull off this Velcro mop pad. Look how dirty this is. This is kind of sad and disturbing. <laughs> but you just pull it off and then you wash it out and you can put it right back on. So this is the color that I'm planning on going with. It is Repose Gray by Sherwin-Williams. This one right here. And then the other sample that I got is, I think it's pronounced Shoji, Shoji White. And it's white, but it has a little bit of a gray um, look to it to me. I'll hold them up side by side. See these two here, the bottom. And then this one is the Shoji White. So I'm gonna paint a little spot here on the siding and we'll just see what that looks like. Of course anytime you're going to paint the exterior of your house you definitely want to pressure wash it first. Get it good and clean. Get any mildew off, any dirt, debris, things like that. I shared a video with you guys a couple of weeks ago where we pressure washed the outside of our house. Um, that was right before I stained the back porch. If you haven't seen that video I'm going to go ahead and link it up here above so that you can watch it if you would like. Um, my dad pressure washed most of the house. I did a little bit of it. It was very hard for me to reach up high, so I held the ladder for him <laughs> and got soaked. <laughs> but it looked so much better once we were done pressure washing it. You can get these little paint samples at um, Lowe's. This is Valspar, um, and it is a satin finish, but these little samples are only $2. So I got two of them for four bucks which I don't think is bad. There's a nice little amount in here. It's 7.75 ounces. So if you had a little project to do, go grab one of these for two bucks. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Shoji, I think I'm saying that right, white. Okay, I'm actually kind of liking this white. Um, it's like a creamy white. Let me go wash the brush out and then we'll do the gray and then we'll compare. Okay, I'm a little surprised that these colors are actually not that far off from each other. Let me show you. So this one is the Repose Gray, and this one is the Shoji White. They're very similar. Like a big dummy, I put alabaster, um, like a test section on the front of the house last year when I thought we were gonna paint it then. So I've had this little section of white on the front of the house. I don't know why I didn't do it on the back. But anyway, I'm gonna go around and try the gray beside that and see what the difference is. Let's check that out. Okay, so this color here, it's hard to tell because it's shady, um, but this is alabaster. You see it compared to the gray. It's definitely a brighter white than that shoji is, but let's do a comparison here with the gray. I painted a strip of the repose gray here beside the alabaster. I'm calling in reinforcements to see which color she likes better. <laughs> Can you tell the difference? That's supposed to be the light gray. This is the light gray down here on the edge and up there. Can you tell? It's not that big of a difference, is it? See where it's got any gray in it do you maybe it will when it dries you guys it's seven o'clock exciting things are happening today 
I gotta get myself ready. My brother just pulled in. He told me seven o'clock a.m. and I was like, he'll never be here at seven o'clock. Well, he's here. <laughs> This is the paint sprayer that we're using. My dad borrowed it from one of his friends and it really worked great. So I would recommend this one to anyone. All right, here's the last look of the wood grain trailer. kitchen floor and my living room is spick and span while I've been out here working in the heat. Yeedy's been in here cleaning my floors. All right guys something very exciting is about to happen. Something that is, let's see, this is June, like six months, going on seven months in the making. Um, if you will remember, let me give you a little flashback here of what happened in December when we had a tree come through our kitchen window. It was not the best of times. Here's a map of the confirmed tornadoes that impacted our area on Monday. So five of them were in Middle Tennessee and one was in Kentucky. Up in Kentucky, tornado and EF1 there. It was a rough bumpy scary start to our work week if you've been a part of my youtube family for a while now you may remember back in december um, when an ef1 tornado hit my area and the top of this tree fell out and into our kitchen window thankfully my dad was able to come up it was in the middle of the night it was pouring rain and storming but he still was able to come up here and use his chainsaw to cut the big limb out of the window so that we could patch it up and didn't get any more damage from the rain today is finally the day we're gonna go pick up our window for our kitchen that got blew out from a tree that fell through it um sorry there's a glass glare my glasses glare when i wear them um so there's a mobile home store in Clarksville, Tennessee. They finally got them in. They've been on back order since forever. Um, I call all the time and they're always still on back order, still on back order. And I called on Monday and she's like, yes, we have two. I'll hold one for you. So we're going to pick that up now because Timmy has to go to Clarksville anyway for a doctor's appointment. So yeah, big, big things happening. We're super excited. You excited to have a kitchen window? I'm excited to have a kitchen window. I'll be able to look at the birds in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We're driving my mom's car. It's so hot, y'all. Turn the air on. Turn the air on. It's loud. Hopefully, there's somebody there that can help me load it in the vehicle because I didn't even think about that. It's probably going to be awkward. I don't know. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> Off we go.
Praise the Lord, we finally have a window and it's a good thing I didn't try my car because it definitely would not have fit, obviously. I had to lay the seats down or I wouldn't have gotten it in the back of this one either. But super nice people did kind of weird me out a little bit because I went in there to pick it up and the girl's like, okay, they're downstairs. And I'm just thinking, okay, we're gonna go downstairs in this building, right? No, you go out the back door and it's kind of like a fire escape situation, it looks like. So I'm like, mm. <laughs> I follow her down there and then she goes in this door and it's like a basement, like weird situation. And she took me down there and got the window and I could pull around right out back to the, where the door is, but she didn't want me to do that. I don't know why she wanted to pack the window all the way around the building <laughs> uphill to the vehicle and I'm like, I can just pull right down there for you. Like you don't have to put, you don't have to pack that. So yeah. Anyway, got, got the window. <laughs> you probably haven't noticed it in the videos cause I have a curtain hanging over it. Here's what we've been dealing with since December. This is like just a thick shower curtain that I have pinned up here, but I'll show you what it looks like on the outside. My dad covered it on the outside so it wouldn't leak. Um, but this is gonna be gone. Hallelujah. We're gonna have some bright natural light coming in this kitchen. It's gonna be wonderful again. I can't wait. So this is what's been covering the window since December. My dad did a good job on it because it did keep out all the rain and weather. So it served its purpose, even though it's not very pretty. I was thankful to have it here. This is what's left of that big tree that fell through the window. I miss it being there because it provided so much shade. It was a huge tree. All right, let's get this window in. Tim. Hello, Steph. <laughs> How's it going today? Wonderful, wonderful. Having myself a grand day. Are you? <laughs> mm-hmm. So you're gonna sing us a verse today? Well, I'll give you one verse of this one. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, sent from above. Born of His Spirit, washed in His love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Good job. Not that's too a, bad. That's a good one. One of my favorites. Well, they're all good ones. Fourth of July, and remember to thank the good Lord for your freedom. And we want to, we want to thank all those that are in the service, taking care of us, and and allowing us to have that freedom. Amen. 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 So it 
is a big difference, but the transformation is not yet complete. So I need you to picture it with me. <laughs> There's going to be shutters, wooden shutters on all the windows. I'm going to hang these bamboo blinds all the way down um, on the front of the house so that it all looks cohesive and matches. This fall, we're probably going to paint this top trim up here to match the bottom, the dark gray. And then eventually we're going to have a big porch across the front of the house. I think that's really going to make a big difference. And also we're going to have a new light fixture up here by the door. Um, I think I'm going to wait till we get the porch put on before I choose that. You're probably wondering why I only planted bushes down at this end of the house. And that's just because the porch is going to come across the front. And I didn't want to have to dig them back up. So I only planted them down at this end for now. You can see right here the damage where the tree went through right here in this spot. My dad filled it in so that rain or anything couldn't get in it, but once I build my shutters, it'll cover that so you won't even see it anymore. And this is what it looks like around back currently. I told you guys what all I plan on doing back here in my back porch makeover video, so if you haven't seen that, um, I think I linked it earlier, but it is in my playlist for mobile home updates. Although the transformation isn't complete, I wanted to share it with you guys the way that it is because I want to remind you that everything doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to get it all done at one time. Just get started, do as much as you can, and then build from there. I'm guilty of looking at something that I've done and thinking about all the other things that I need to do as well. But I have to say that just looking at this place when I come home and seeing the fresh coat of paint, it makes me so happy. My next project is building the shutters and putting them up. So if you want to see that, be sure to like and subscribe so you'll get notified when it gets uploaded. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me again today. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.